Like before I do my review, I just got to retrospect and just talk about how great of an actor Gary Oldman is. We need to find out why this boy is the king. You never had a friend like I did. Who, a friend who put his hands in the filth just to keep doors clean. I will stop that nothing till I find that fuck. Man, shout out to Gary Oldman. Darkest Hour. Darkest Hour is based off the life and the true story of Winston Churchill and it's directed by Joe Wright and it stars Gary Oldman as Winston Churchill. And this movie is about this man named Winston Churchill being thrown into the unimaginable situation during World War II and he's been named Prime Minister because the nation is on the brink of surrender and now Winston Churchill, who is being played by Gary Oldman, must bring a nation together with his, with his um, unimaginable speeches. And you have the darkest hour. And I gotta tell you right here and there that Gary Oldman, oh my God. I really wanna say this is like one of the best performances for Gary Oldman, but I feel like me saying that, I, do, I don't feel like it will really qualify because the, the best of his ability, he went beyond that. He went to a place that's God level. And I gotta say that Gary Oldman is by far one of the, the best actors, top five actors in this industry. And I mean it to the core. And I, he was, it was transformative. I didn't see him. I didn't see Gary Oldman as Winston Churchill. I saw Winston Churchill. And that's how great the, this actor did. And one thing I just got to talk praise is the story. So the whole entire movie takes place in about one or two weeks of him after he was named prime minister. And we didn't get like the perfect man we saw through the media back in 1940. And that's one of the things the movie did a good job of bringing on screen was his personal life. That Winston Churchill had doubts. You know, he had so many doubts and he was pretty much at the breaking point. He was struggling to like cope with so many decisions and cope with so many people being against him that he doesn't have experience. They made fun of him the way he talks and things. And and we got all of that. And I think that right there is very emotional on to have that on screen. The other cast that was in this film, Lily James and Ben Middleson, they both had some good performances. And to describe Lily James' character, I felt like her character was going to be a little irritating or a character I didn't really care for, but actually I felt like her character was like the character for the audience. We saw Winston Churchill from her point of view in the beginning of the film, and I felt like that was a good connection to have with this audience because that's how we would perceive Winston Churchill through the lens of her character. And I felt, and I really, and I really enjoyed her, enjoyed her on screen. And she was a secretary of Winston Churchill, so she was very close to him in some in some of the scenes throughout the movie. And Ben Middleton, he plays King George. And I think Ben Middleton did a good job with, with his performance as well. Another thing I just got to praise, and this is like a small little thing that I feel like this movie was like a startup of a cinematic universe, like a war cinematic universe. Because if you've seen Dunkirk, I'm not going to spoil anything, but if you've seen Dunkirk, you will love this movie even more. That's all I got to say. The, the film also had a layer of humor from Gary Oldman's character, Winston Churchill. And I think that was very pleasant to have that on screen. And also there is a scene that I consider one of the best scenes in the whole entire movie. I don't want to go in full detail, but there is a scene where Winston Churchill is talking to the regular people, the public, and how they feel about the government. And I think that scene right there was definitely inspiring. But I definitely got to give this film a Ben Affleck Batman. <laughs> This film could potentially be in my top 10 films of 2017. Who knows? People who are working for Oscar, I think what they should do is take one of those Oscar trophies, put it in the box, and mail it to Gary Oldman's house because he blew it out the park and he definitely deserves an Oscar. This is one of the best, best standalone performances of the year in my eyes. So yes, go see Darkest Hour. I know for a fact this movie had a limited release in November 22nd, and I think it's going to be released worldwide on December 22nd. So that's my review for Darkest Hour. Guys, have you seen Darkest Hour? Please let me know. 
comment below give me your thoughts on darkest hour so guys if you like everything you see and you agree click right here join me and the batman family i'll have more batman tastic reviews in a way you have been warned till then ciao